In South Africa, black and white political leaders reported progress today toward a deal that would avert an election boycott by the Zulu-based Nkata party. But once again, the campaign was dogged by violence. Peacekeeping troops were unable to stop a deadly gun battle between backers of Nkata and the African National Congress. Correspondent Alan Pizzi reports. They were supposed to be a neutral body for stability, but today the National Peacekeeping Force found itself under fire as the enemy. A battle between Zulus and so-called township self-defense units from the ANC caught them in a deadly crossfire. Among the 19 victims were the press. Ken Oosterbrook, award-winning photographer from South Africa's leading newspaper, was killed. Two other photographers, one from Newsweek and another from Reuters, were wounded. Colleagues had to evacuate them under sniper fire. But they may have been hit by shots from the peacekeeping force. The force has been deployed for only five days, and this was their first time in action. Their training has been plagued by reports of drunkenness and insubordination. The army they replaced is scheduled to move back into the township tomorrow. The only bright spot was news that after high-level talks, the Zulu-based Nkata party may yet find a way to take part in the elections, which, if it happens, could at least help scale down the violence. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Johannesburg.